Hi, my name is Kristen Smith, and I'm the Interpretive Program Supervisor here at the Tualatin Hills Nature Center. A common question that we get asked at the front desk of the Nature Center is how to identify poison oak. So I'm gonna share a few easy tips and techniques with you today so you can feel more comfortable identifying poison oak when you're out and about in our parks and be able to give it the space it needs so you don't get negatively affected. The best way to identify poison oak is by looking at the leaves. Each leaf of poison oak is actually made up of three leaflets. A lot of people remember the phrase, leaves of three, let it be. To identify the poison oak leaves, it's good to look closely at each leaves. You can also use your hands, not by touching the leaves, but by using them to remember how to identify them. If you were to take your two hands like this and put them up, tuck in your thumbs closely, and cross your arms, this would represent two of the three leaves of poison oak. You'll notice that each leaf kind of has some soft lobes to it. This is similar to what you would find on poison oak. The leaves are not sharply teethed or serrated. They have nice, smooth lobes. So with your two hands, this would represent the two outer leaves of poison oak. If you were to then take your two hands and move them together to overlap, this is what the center leaf lit of poison oak looks like. Similarly, it has these nice, smooth little lobes. So this would be the main leaf of poison oak, and this would be the two side leaflets of poison oak. Again, leaves of three, let it be. We're gonna take a closer look at poison oak so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's a close up look at what poison oak looks like. You'll see the three leaflets make up one single leaf of poison oak. The leaves in the summer are a bright green color. In the early spring or fall, they'll have a reddish tint. You can see some new leaves coming out here that have a little bit of that reddish glossy tint on the outside of the leaf. Again, leaves of three, let it be. For comparison to poison oak leaves, we're gonna take a look at trailing blackberry leaves. Trailing blackberry leaves also have three leaflets in their leaves. Here is an example of trailing blackberry. If you look closely, you'll see that the edges are kind of fuzzy or toothed or highly serrated. In comparison, there is some poison oak nearby. So you can see that the leaves here have those outer lobes that are softer, but again, still have the leaves of three. Always remember, leaves of three, let it be. If you do happen to accidentally get into poison oak, the best thing to do is go home and wash yourself and all of your clothes in soap and cool or cold water. That will make sure that the oils get off of your skin and off of your clothes. For more information about the trailing blackberry that was referred to earlier in this video, be sure to check out our website at thprd.org and the Virtual Recreation Center webpage to learn more about how to tell the differences between blackberries. From all of us at THPRD, stay safe and happy exploring.